Welcome back to Wild Ireland. Today I'm going to introduce you to some of the Barbary macaques that live right here on the Monkey Island. So monkeys are not great swimmers and that means that we can keep them on an island here at Wild Ireland. You can see that they have all these trees to climb in. There are five macaques on Monkey Island and you can see our oldest male just there, that's Nakando. So Nakando was rescued from a circus where he had his teeth ripped out so that he couldn't bite anybody. That wouldn't have been done under anaesthetic. To the left of Nakando is Soho, and Soho was another rescued monkey. He was a ship mascot. Troy is the leader of the group. He's the big dominant male. He was actually an illegal pet. He would have been stolen from the wild. Most likely his mother would have been shot and he would have been pulled from her dead body. Then he would have been sold into the illegal pet trade, as were all of our monkeys here at Wild Ireland. Troy was found wandering the streets of Paris on his own wearing a nappy. Next then is Port and Port again would have been poached from the wild. Most likely his mother would have been shot and he was sold into the illegal pet trade. Port is a very cool, calm, collected monkey. He's the wise old man of the group. He never gets involved in any drama or any fights. He just keeps to himself and enjoys his retirement here at Wild Ireland. Lastly, but by no means least, is little Juma. Juma is the youngest member of the group. Unfortunately, Juma was badly abused as a baby, and he now exhibits self-harming behaviour. Juma will slap himself on the head, as you can see here, and he'll also bite his arms, as you just saw. It's quite distressing to watch, and this is a direct result of the abuse that Juma suffered being taken away from his mother and sold into the pet trade. We don't really know what happened to poor Juma, However, we do know that since he's come here to Wild Ireland and he now lives on an island with a family group, his behaviour has very much improved. We're seeing less and less of the negative behaviour. Juma is a great character and you can see him here playing with Nakando, the oldest male. Nakando has no teeth, so he's unfortunately unable to defend himself if he gets picked on by one of the other monkeys. But Juma always jumps to his defense. This is a really nice story of the oldest and the youngest two monkeys in the group being best friends. Now the monkeys here at Wild Ireland don't live in cages. They live on this natural island, as you can see behind me, where they can climb trees and act just as they would do if they were still living in the wild. Lots of Barbary macaques are poached from the wild every year. The babies are taken from the mothers and sold into the pet trade in Europe. As a result of this, Barbary macaques are now considered endangered of going extinct in the wild. Having been taken from their mothers, they're very often used as photographers' props. You'll often see baby monkeys being carried around by photographers uh, when you go on holidays and you can get your photograph taken with them for a small fee. As cute as this looks, please do not support these people. They abuse the monkeys. The monkeys are taken away from their mothers and suffer a lot of abuse. So please, please, when you go on holidays, do not support those beach photographers. Wild Ireland works with App, a charity based in the Netherlands that rescues primates from horrible situations around the world. Here at Wild Ireland, I'm committed to providing a good home for these monkeys for the rest of their lives. Unfortunately, Wild Ireland remains closed due to the COVID-19 restrictions. In the meantime, you can log on to our website. We have little toy Jumas available in our online store and all proceeds from the sale of these toys go directly towards the care and upkeep of the animals at Wild Ireland. Rest assured, the animals are still being looked after very well here at Wild Ireland and we cannot wait to welcome everybody back as soon as this all blows over, folks. I will continue to keep you up to date as best as I can via social media. Special thank you to everybody that's supported us to date. Please log on to our YouTube channel and subscribe there for exclusive updates and contents. And hopefully we'll see you all again at Wild Ireland very soon.